Today, I would like to give an example of how to run War Smash on a GNU Plus Linux system. For starters, we need to search the internet for War Smash. Once you find the Git repo, copy the URL to clone the repo. Then, paste this repo into a standard git clone command in a folder of your choice. For example, here I create a folder called repos. And within it, I use the standard git command to clone the repo. When the repo clone command is completed, I CD into the newly downloaded War Smash folder. Now that I cloned the repo, I want to try running the build scripts inside the repo. On my computer, the system administrator already installed Java 17. But if you do not have Java 17 on your computer, your system administrator can install it using sudo apt install openjdk 17jdk. If you prefer not to modify system installations, it is also possible to download a Java 17 build of your choice, such as the Temerin downloads, and launch them in user space, although the process is more involved, and I will not cover it here. Once you have Java on the computer and are in the War Smash folder, you will want to edit the settings on the Gradle W script to include the executable bit. War Smash was committed under high git on Windows, so this bit was missing. But the fix is a simple one-time chmod plus gradle w. After that, type dot slash gradle w space desktop colon run game. This should download the necessary dependencies, then compile and launch War Smash. Please note, that because of the automatic dependency downloads, the first time running this command may take longer, but subsequent runs of the same command are often much faster. And I, you can see, depending on the speed of your computer, how this task will compile the necessary dependencies, including the JAS parser and the FDF parser. Perhaps this is the moment where you will go to get a coffee break or wonder about the meaning of life. After some time has passed, you should see your screen momentarily flash black as the War Smash game opens, then crashes and closes. There. I received the build's successful status even though the game did not actually play properly. If we navigate to the Core Assets Logs folder, we can see that the latest error log contains information coming from the game engine and not the build setup that tells us the reason why we were not able to launch. In this case, there is a Windows style file path and used to locate the art files from Warcraft 3. This is a good reminder that we should also download Warcraft 3 to obtain the assets since they are not a part of the War Smash emulator. On the Hive Workshop website in the forum section, we can click on Warcraft discussion and then again on the Warcraft 3 download archive link. Of course, be aware that by downloading anything from this section, you are agreeing that you are a valid Warcraft 3 license holder. You should not download a copy of the game to emulate if you do not already own the game. Anyhow, as you can see, I clicked on the patch 1292. When the download is completed, I use the archive manager to extract the contents of the files archive. Of 
course, if you prefer some other tool, such as unzip from the command line, that should work fine as well. With the files extracted, uh, I return to the cloned repo. Here we want to modify the WarSmash INA config file. You can use Vim or Pluma or Get It or whatever text editor you prefer. Our primary task is simply to do a find and replace on the C colon file path from Windows and replace it with the location of Warcraft 3 in our user downloads folder, making sure to use the forward slash now because we are on Linux. I type into the box home user downloads Warcraft 3. If you wanted, you could copy the path from somewhere else to make certain that it is correct. And after clicking on Replace All and looking again at this config file, it occurs to me that Windows is case insensitive, but Linux is case sensitive. So we have to fix the case on some of the Warcraft 3 file names. I capitalize the W on the War3.mpq and capitalize the L on the local MPQs. I also fix the backward slash to instead be a forward slash on the resources and change the number of players from 16 to 28 to match the version of Warcraft 3 that we downloaded earlier. At this point, I, I should be ready to go. So I save the config file, then use the Gradle W script to run the game again. the game, but you can hold ALT and press enter to toggle between the window and full screen modes. As you can see, I'm able to start a game without ever installing Wine because we are not running Windows programs. The game is fully being emulated by the Java code. I'm simply imagining a game of Warcraft 3 as it might be by using the game art and a fork of the rendering software for the View 3D button from Hive Workshop. Your building is complete. Your building is complete. Your building is complete.
my prey is near. Let the hunt begin. Ash Valano, justice shall be swift. Ben thy Delelun, I can taste their fear. Justice shall be swift. Your move. I am the iron hand of justice. Let justice be served. Ben thy Delelun, they shall not escape. Let justice be served. Ben thy Delelun, I can taste their fear. Justice shall be swift. Ash Valano, justice shall be swift. Let the hunt begin. Let justice be served. They shall not escape. Let the hunt begin. I am the law. Justice shall be swift. source code that handles the visual experience. My prey is near. Ben thy Delelune. Understood. <laughs> 